Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new Hello Tiki decks from Montenzi Design. All right, Montenzi Design. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite designers. Just the graphics on this, the art on this, there's so much care that's put into these decks. If you love decks with just really rich art and you, and you can say to yourself, wow, this designer cares about tuck boxes, they care about paper stock, they care about putting out a finished product, you definitely wanna check out Montenzi, check out his Instagram, check out the other decks he's done. Absolutely, bar none, one of my very favorite, all time favorite, favorite, favorite playing card designers. Amazing, uh, just absolutely amazing. These three decks were produced by Gambler's Warehouse. Uh, this is the second edition, second edition of Hello Tiki. Uh, two of these decks were printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and the third one, the silver uh, metallic edition, was printed by Cardamundi. Now, of course, in preparation for this review, I reached out to Montenzi Design and asked him, like, you know, hey, what's the inspiration behind these decks? Because I would just assume it's tiki, right? It's just the tiki art form. But uh, he told me that all three decks take a lot of their inspiration from the various art and culture that's out in New Zealand. Now, of course, I'm gonna show you all three decks. Um, do my best to show you all three. They're all slightly different and I'll have uh, different decks up on the screen. I'll do my best to cover all three of them and just kind of give you a overview, right? An overview of all three decks. So the red Tiki deck and the white Tiki deck were printed from Bicycle, United States Playing Card Company, right here in the old US of A. They're done on premium US PCC stock, traditionally cut, air cushion finish, everything you'd expect from a custom deck. The black Tiki deck, which is really silver, it's really a silver foil on the inside. Uh, that was printed from Cardamundi out in Belgium. And it was done with the premium B9 True Linen Finish and everything you'd expect from a Cardamundi deck. So really, with all three decks, you are getting just the best of the best of the best of the best. All three tuck cases are done very similarly. Uh, red is red, obviously. White is a silver. And the black is black. They all have this uh, bar circle design work that's wrapped all the way around. Uh, the front is the Tiki face and the sides and top and bottom are completely blank. And it's the image that just carries over to the back. The back actually says the title. It says Hello Tiki, it says Cardamundi, and says uh, what version uh, deck it is. The tuck flap design carries over. The inside tuck flap has some design work. And the inside, of course, is metallic as well. That's pretty much everything I can say about all three tuck cases. Let's break these open. Let's look at these cards. I'll start with the red deck first. Red deck has a red, black, and white background kind of just looks like a maze uh, but you know this is what uh, folk art tiki art like Indian style artwork looks like and so uh, if you're familiar with this culture this is gonna be represented with all three of these decks you're gonna get four jokers two blacks and two reds uh, it kind of looks like a shield with some sort of mask on the top and the bottom but I'm absolutely positive that's not what it is that's just what it looks like to my inexperienced eyeballs, but I'm sure it's just beautiful New Zealand art. The Ace of Spades is a spade pip with a bunch of uh, spade-like shapes like exploding out from behind it. It says limited edition and Hello Tiki. All the pips and indice cards are completely original. You got an original font there and original spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs as well. And you'll see little ornamentations on the inside of each one. The red quartz, all right, let's talk about court cards because the court cards are gonna be different from one deck to the next. The red quartz uh, look very tribal. It's a mask uh, with tongue sticking out and like crazy like warlike or combat eyes and just like claws or flowers. It's very, very, uh, just very tribal feeling. The white deck is gonna have a very similar back design. You're gonna have very limited amounts of red and black in the back design. You're also gonna see a very thin poker border on all four decks. Again, four jokers, two reds, two blacks. 
Um, different jokers though, not the same. This is not a recolor from one to the next. Uh, your Ace of Spades and then your Pips and Indice cards. Yes, I think your Pips and Indice cards are gonna be the same from deck to deck. That's where you'll see some of the similarities. But then when you head into the court cards, these cards have full on faces and hair and weapons and they're just crazy awesome. Like each one has got like some sort of just wicked weapon or face paint or just some crazy like hair design. Um, oh, these cards are so freaking awesome. And then when we get to the silver deck, this metallic ink, oh my goodness, I have never seen a deck pop like this. With the silver metallics on the back and the front, it's ridiculous. Okay, you have the same back, right? But no color, obviously, so it's just the black on the silver foil. And with this deck, your extra cards are a little different. Um, first of all, you're gonna get two double backers, one side silver, one side red. And then you're gonna get two jokers, but these are original. They're not the same jokers as you saw in the other decks. One side silver and the other side has a red and black, but then it just says joker. Now again, the Ace of Spades is also different. It says Hello Tiki, limited edition, and the spade uh, design in the center, very different. Pips and indices again, same, right? Pips and indices are gonna be the same. And then your court cards are gonna be the same as the red deck. Same as the red deck, but against the silver backdrop, they just pop in an incredibly new way. And so, I, you know what? If you get one of these decks, you're gonna wish you had all three. That's just how it, I'm, I, that's what I think. You're just gonna wish, oh, why did I buy one? I should have bought all of them. Like, they just all go together and it's just such a gorgeous set to have. Like I said, the artwork on this is insane. The cards feel fantastic because it's the best of Bicycle, it's the best of Cardamundi, and just the silver metallics on this. I mean, this, this, is, ins this is crazy. I mean, just the front and backs, there's just so much shine and pop to them. They're just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I love these cards. All three decks are a limited edition. They will never be reprinted with the same boxes or same back designs or same color ever again. And I would say if you're watching this and you're thinking you like these and you want to head down and pick these up, definitely go visit uh, montenzi.nz slash shop because of the white deck, there was only 1,002 decks made. The red deck, there was only 1,100 made. And the black deck, the silver metallic deck, there was less than 500 decks made. You can also follow Montenzi on Instagram at Montenzi. All right, so that's everything I can say about the Hello Tiki version two decks from Montenzi. And of course, I've given you all the links. I'll put all the links below in the description. I wanna thank Montenzi so much for allowing me to have these cards so that I could do the review for you. Please head out, give them your support, give them a follow, give them a like on social media. Thanks everybody, I'll see you guys next time, bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. No, card review. What am I doing? Duh.